So now we're going to continue to customize the animation of this button. So we're going to use the delay parameter in order to allow the animations to start slightly later when the view appears. Also, we're going to use spring animation in order to add some flexibility to control the animation. And that's going to be the parameters such as using spring with damping and initial spring velocity. So let's start with the delay parameter that we're going to add right after the duration. So right now the duration is two seconds, so that's going to be delay, but lowercase. And we're going to use a float as well, so that's going to be 0 0.5, so that is an NS time interval. And we're going to continue with these other parameters that I have just introduced to you, which is using spring with damping. And that's going to allow to create this bouncy effect. And we're going to use a value of 0 0.6 right in the middle. And then we're going to use also one which is required. So whenever you use using spring with damping, and this is initial spring velocity. And for this one, we're just going to use zero. So we're going to save this. Also, we have this error, which is uh, indicating that there is a missing parameter, and Xcode is saying that we should also add the options parameter. Even if it's left empty, we're going to use square brackets. So we must always add this parameter. It's part of the combination for this function. So now we can save, build, and run. We're going to be able to see that the animation of the button starts half of a second after the image, the view appears. And we're going to see that this is going to be slightly bouncing up and down slightly. So it's not very, it's very subtle. So we're going to change the value to make it more. So the lower the value of the temping, the bouncier the effect is. And we're going to change also the velocity. You're going to see a little bit different. So it's a little bit stiff near the end of the animation. So we're going to change. When you play with animation, you must always play with the values, tweak a little bit. So we're going to change the damping and the velocity, and this time we're going to see like a more pronounced bouncy effect. So that's it for this part of the visual effects, the animation. So what we're going to be doing next is working with this function, which is marketing messages. It takes one index that's an integer as a parameter. And what we're aiming for is to display different messages on the screen, make them rotating. And we have this array, this outlet. So first this outlet, which is a label, which is empty for now. So we're going to use the strings object that we have added to the messages array, and we're going to be display displaying them one after another. We're going to make them fade in and out, and that's going to be pretty nice. So we're going to be doing that in the next lesson.